right, Algebra 1, Lesson 116. This is on quotient rule for square roots. <clears throat> All right, there's just three problems in this one. And here's what it says. Write that in simplified form. Now, what they're wanting you to do is to take this and go square root of 5 over square root of 3. Kind of like divide it up. All right? Now, we want to try to get rid of the square root in the denominator, okay? So in order for us to do that, hopefully you remember that you can multiply this by the same thing, and it makes it into the solid number. Kind of like square root of 64 times the square root of 64. Square root of 64 is 8 times square root of 64 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3, okay? Now what you do to the bottom you have to do the top. Okay? And so then that becomes square root of 5 times the square root of 3, which is the square root of 15 over 3. Okay? And that's the final answer on that one. All right? Let's do a few more because they're going to get harder each time. Here we go. 4 plus square root of 3 all over square root of 2. Again, they want us to simplify this. So we want to try to get rid of the 2, the square root of 2, in the denominator. So, again, we know to times it by the square root of 2, which gives us a 2 on the bottom. But what I do at the bottom, I have to do the top. Now, this whole thing has to be multiplied by the square root of 2. That means you have to do the distributive property. This times this plus this times this. So let's do that. 4 times the square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times the square root of 6, or I'm sorry, square root of 2 times the square root of 3, which makes the square root of 6. Okay? And that is that answer. Alright? So once you answer all these and get this one down to the denominator without having a radical, then you're good. Alright, and then the last example, it says to simplify this. 2 plus square root of 15 divided by square root of 5. Alright? So again, we want to times it by the square root of 5, which will give me a 5 on the bottom. For what I do the bottom, I have to do the top. And again, this applies to all of that. So square root of 5 times all of this. So again, we have to do this. 2 times the square root of 5, 2 times the square root of 5, plus... 5 times the square root of 15, the square root of 5 times the square root of 15 equals the square root of 75. Now, I'm going to move this down because you can actually keep going and do something else with it. Okay, that's my equation. I'm going to break this down. Okay, um, and it actually, uh, we know that it was 15 and 5, so I'm going to take this 15 times 5, which makes 75, and I'm going to break up this 15, which is 5 times 3. So this um, square root of 75 is really square root of 5 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 5, right? Because 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 is that one. So this would be 5 times 3, which would be square root of 15 times 5 square root of 75. Good. But look at this. Remember this rule? If you have one square root of 5 and another square root of 5, then it makes it just a 5. So here we go. Just a 5. So that gets rid of that. And then I just have a square root of 3 left. Alright? So now I have 2 square root of 5 plus 5 square root of 3 all over 5. And that is lesson 116.